So thanks for joining us again. Um, as promised last time, this time, we're going to get cracking on with the thermal detonator. Um, well, the thermal detonator. It is what it is. It's basically a piece of rainwater pipe with two end caps on. One of these squashed on the front. Um, with the kit you will receive this because if you're in the US or anywhere else in the world other than UK, this tube and diameter and everything is quite difficult to get I believe so we started bunging them in and we put the uh, the clips on and everything so you're good to go so uh, the only thing I would say on this particular one is because we've ran out of the japaned black screws the silver so we need to give them a bit of a paint at some point um, if you're that into it but other than that it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to trim these down. I'm just basically just going to cut this edge off and um, I'll cut this out of here. So I'm just uh, I'm just trimming this down. Let's just have a little look at this. It's a nice tight fit. That's what she said. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, it is tight. That's what she said. <laughs> I nearly stabbed myself there. Right, so I've not cut much off. What I'm going to do is just try and get that a little bit more even. You don't need to go mad, but I think we can do better than that. I'm saying. You've got that in focus? Yeah. Or are you being arty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for all the comments, guys, over the, uh, over the length of the build. We do look at them all, and we do chuckle to ourselves. And we do um, we do take the where it's taken needs to be taken. So do keep them coming somewhere. I don't know where, but I've got a nice big fat uh, sander. I'm not sure where it is, but I'll probably try and find it. If you've got one of them, you know the type I mean that fits in the palm of your hand. That's good. Good bit to do it on. So I'm just I'm trying to cut off as little as possible. I want to try and keep as much of this as I can because we did we did create this to fit, you know, to be the right depth. It's about what an inch I think is it? Is it an inch from memory? Yeah, it's about an inch. And as with anything, it was an inch one side and under an inch the other side and over an inch the other side. And I can't remember what the full side was, even though it was a circle. <clears throat> right, so I just want to trim, sand these down. Get them so they're looking a little bit tidier, you know? Straight edge. Wang them on. Right, one thing I would say, just a piece of advice. If it's not perfectly straight and you're looking at it going round and it's a bit wibbly wobbly, okay? Would, this is what I would recommend. Try it on, see what it looks like. Chances are it's gonna look spot on and perfect and fine. But if you get obsessed with it and you're sanding and sanding and sanding, before you know it, you're gonna be a really thin thermal debt or you're gonna be hitting the bottom of this and it's, that's what you don't want. That's gonna look way worse than if it's a little bit wibbly wobbly. So, top tip for the day, that one. Right. So it is a nice tight fit. It's that nice a fit. Yeah, that looks okay. It was wibbly wobbly when it was off, but when it's on there, it looks all right. You can, you can turn it and twist it if you really need to. So that side looks pretty good. Get it on. Now I'm not gonna put any glue or anything on there because you don't really need it. You've seen how difficult it was to get off before when I nearly broke out into a sweat. There, I'm quite pleased with that. Nice tight fit, nice solid fit. You can always stash something in there, you know, pull that off and stash something in there. We won't talk about what. <laughs> but 
but you don't need any glue that's what I'm saying right again this is a perfect size so I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut this this end off like so and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually sand that down to take this edge off yeah so I'm probably gonna use the Dremel one which out will be in laser but the idea is not to what I'm trying to say is not to come up, up not to cut the end off with the shears like this I don't want that I've, I've cut as much out there I'm just going to sand it back and the same with this so I'm going to use a Dremel on so here we go So we've got these quite straight and we've got these trimmed out so there's the, an ever such a slight return edge we've just got that it's just curling over it's probably a little bit nicer than it should be to be quite honest but but there you go that is pretty much it I mean it's nice and easy nice and easy I'm gonna put some glue on this and I'm gonna try not to smear it all over the place. That would be bad. Right, less is more, you don't need it all over the place. You don't need tons of glue, you just need enough to hold a very lightweight piece of plastic to a piece of drain pipe. So, I'm sure you can use your own imagination. Right, there we go, that should be enough. So I've put it on areas where it's gonna contact obviously now this goes to the top this being the top the top because we're hooking down over the belt and I'm going to put the bottom to the bottom and I'm also at the same time going to line it up so it's roughly central and I'm holding it by the sides where I didn't apply any glue okay drop that on that looks good to me. Count up to 10 if you can do that. I lost count. No, thank you. <clears throat> so that's it. Let's just try it on the belt. This is going to be the belt. We're just going to hook that over the, over the belt there. And the idea being that it goes either side of the uh, of the overlap, and of course this piece was designed to cover up the overlap on the belt, just to make it look less um, obvious. So let's let's just check where we're up to. Torso check, arms check, shoulder bells check. Thighs, check. Shins, check. Belt, check. Thermal deck, check. Yeah? Buttons, the last piece. Now, I've not managed to get them painted yet. But I don't think it's going to be... Uh, I don't think that should necessarily uh, stop us sticking them on in, on this occasion. If you can paint them off, it might be easier. Due to our union rules here, I'm not allowed to paint anything, it's, this is Simon's domain. But what I'll do is I'll prepare them, so I've literally just cut them out, square them off. I mean, this is like the belt buttons. Right, so I've trimmed it down, sanded the edges a little bit. What's that there? It's got a little snagger on the back. Right. Let's just see how that's going to fit. Still a tad too big. We don't want it overhanging. We don't want it overhanging. So I'm going to sand that down a little bit more to get the correct size. Let's have a little look how this one's fitting. <clears throat> yeah, just a tiny bit more to come off. And we're good. So I'm just going to continue sanding these rather than try and trim.
So I've trimmed that down so it looks looks about as I'm expecting it to look on there. This particular one I've trimmed so that this this piece is is not exactly straight. I mean, we could trim it straight, but then this is not straight, so somewhere it's got to give. I've decided on this particular one, it's there. So I'm just going to tack the buttons on. If you're building a sand trooper, obviously your build was a little bit easier because you didn't need to do the shoulder bridges. Don't need to do this. So let me just explain a little bit what I've just done there. I stuck it on there and it's grabbed in some areas, then I've moved on to sticking it down, you know, making sure it's grabbed all around. So I've let it take rather than start sliding it round because the last thing you need is a bit of glue slid all around your torso. <clears throat> Try to look at your reference and make sure you get the buttons on the right way. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And then our four button detail. So we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I'm just gonna trim a tiny bit more off. Now I've got it laid down. So I'm looking for these sides, looking for the sides to not overhang. And I'm also looking for, I want them to be close, but I don't want them overhanging. It's going to look a little bit clumsy. <clears throat> well, that's getting there. little bit of glue. I've kind of stayed away from the edges, gone around, worked around the buttons and it's going to squash out to the edges as I apply a little bit of pressure now. Again, let it bite. Don't want it slip sliding away. Right, that's pretty much it. It's got very dusty this thing while it's been uh, while it's been sat up there for the two days because that's how long ago I made this. It's not to, it's not taken weeks. A touch of paint, add a splash of colour to this uh, quite uncolourful armour. Uh, could do some white on these screws while we're at it just to complete it. But other than that. That's how you build the armour, that's everything, we're done, we finally made it, the end of the pilgrimage, we made it, we're there. Comment below if, you're, if you think you're ready to build a helmet, comment below if you think Andrew can film it in focus. <laughs> <laughs> right, out of focus then. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that is basically our armour complete. I think it's gonna deserve a little run out, a little test. So we might get someone to wear it. Or if Andrew stops it with the RS burgers, maybe I'll manage to get into it. <laughs> but there we go. So thanks for joining us. 
join us next time where we'll be building who knows what and or we'll be wearing this i don't know i don't know what's going to happen but please do like subscribe get involved comment below and um come back for the next time i've lost my elastic off this where's my elastic off? There you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If however you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All again, all on the website, just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.